So, if you live in or have spent much time in South Wales, the north of England or Devon, you may have seen or heard one of these. Hello, welcome to Urban Point Films and welcome to the Train Ride Extra series. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Pacer. <laughs> The train which has largely been withdrawn now and has outlived its time. And as you may have noticed, I'm wearing a Pacer face covering. I know I'm at home, I don't need to wear it, but I'm wearing it for the purpose of this video. The Pacer rail buses were introduced in 1980 as a short term solution to the shortage of rolling stock with a lifespan of no more than 20 years. <clears throat> However, they have well outlived it and uh, were originally scheduled to be retired at the end of 2019. <clears throat> As the rail vehicle accessibility regulations require that all public passenger trains must be accessible to disabled people by 2020. However, the PACER units were given dispensation until the end of 2020. Only one pacer, the 144E, currently meets this requirement. At the start of 2020, 138 pacer units were either still in service or storage, with three national rail operators, <clears throat> Northern Trains, Great Western Railway and Transport for Wales. Northern Trains retired its last pacer unit on the 27th of November 2020 and Great Western Railway followed in December 2020. However, Transport for Wales will still be operating 15 class 143 Pacer trains into the first part of 2021. However, despite them being in my st however, despite them being in my stomping ground, we might not see them again due to the current level 4 restrictions in Wales. Construction of the Pacer series would use a lightweight modified bus body form from a Leyland bus with a reinforced driver's cab area to comply with crashworthiness standards and a long wheelbase, four wheel freight wagon inspired underframe beneath the Leyland bus body rather than the conventional arrangement of two four wheel bogies. This arrangement has been criticised for rough riding and causing loud noise, just like this. <clears throat> At the beginning of the 1980s, British Rail needed to produce new trains to replace its ageing fleets of first generation DMUs, diesel multiple units, which had been built between the mid 50s and 60s. These first generation units had helped replace steam and had proved popular with the public. <clears throat> At the time, BR was under severe financial pressure from the government and lacked the money to replace all of them with units of similar quality. BR developed two different types of units as second generation, the Sprinter series as conventional DMUs for use on urban and longer distance services and the Pacer series as low cost DMUs built as rural and branch line services which ended up being used on mainline routes between Sheffield, Leeds and Manchester in the north and Cardiff, Newport and Swansea in Wales. The Class 141 Pacers, which were the first in passenger service after the experimental Class 140 Pacers, were sold to the Islamic Republic of Iran Railways in 1997, but have since been withdrawn there too, and left to rot in sidings in the country, with a few in preservation in the UK, such as on the Midland Railway in Butterley. In July 2019, Northern rolled out the Class 195 built by CAF, which had dubbed the Pacer Replacers, as that was their intended purpose. Several Pacers had now been preserved for further use on Heritage Railways. However, there have been multiple safety concerns raised about the Pacers after the 1999 Winsford crash, which involved a first Northwestern Pacer Class 142 running as empty stock with a run was run into by a Virgin Trains Class 87 express train after the Pacer had fouled the main line at Winsford in Cheshire on the 
WCML West Coast Mainline. Okay, so that's all basically all my information I've uh, acquired about the Pacers. Many people are sad, uh, some people are sad to see the Pacers go. I thought it was always like going on a roller coaster, but it was a bit annoying not being able to hear myself think. And when I was trying to record a video on them, I couldn't hear a word of what I was saying, as I did record a couple of intros on Pacers back when I was doing my uh, back to when I was doing my abandoned videos a couple of years ago. However, a lot of people do say that Pacers are the worst, terrible, really uncomfortable, annoying, and they're glad to see the back of them. However, that's not the case in Wales, as Wales is still keeping 15 class 143 Pacers for a short term of this year, which probably will be gone by the, by the time the lockdown's over in Wales. So I hope you all did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and we'll see you in the next train ride video or the next video on this channel. I've been Sam from Urban Point Films. See you all on the next one.